Ladies and gentlemen, hi, my name is Sagar. I am from Webblocks India. I'd like to introduce you to our newest uh, product. This is called the Smart Blocks. This is a brick that we have designed and developed and we've introduced this into the market. This is uh, the Earthblocks Smart Brick. Firstly, I'll take you through the dimensions. Uh, the length is 230 mm. The width is 110 mm and the height is 75 mm. And we have two holes in them which are 40 mm in diameter. Now these are CSCB blocks. CSCB stands for compressed stabilized earth blocks. So stabilization is with cement. We put 9% cement in this and we're pressing it using a hydraulic press and we achieve a density close to two or actually more than two. So these are very, very strong bricks. So what we've uh, set up here, a small demonstration to show you the difference between the bricks that we make and the other bricks that are available in the market and to show you the cost advantage and the finishing that you would get using these different kind of blocks. I'm going to request uh, Sandeep if you could please come closer. I'd like to show you what we've done here. So basically we've taken uh, 12 bricks each, 12, 12, 12 and we've arranged them in a pattern like this. So the way we've arranged it, this uh, lengthwise is uh, 335 mm or 35 centimeters. This way it is uh, 230 mm. So what we're trying to achieve is to build a nine inch wall. So 12 bricks are used in this pattern and with our blocks, the spacing between the bricks is 10 mm. So 10 mm is your masonry joint. So with that, you get two, 350, just showing you 350 all over and uh, width wise it's a 9 inch wall or a 230 mm uh, wall. Everywhere you see we've used uh, a spacer which is a 10 mm spacer. We've got it uniform across the three patterns that we've done. So what I'd like to uh, demonstrate to you the difference. Let's go with this uh, setup here. Now this is set up to give you a 350 mm width and a 230 mm uh, thickness of wall. Now if you notice the difference between the setup we've done here with the earth blocks and this, the masonry joint or the cement mortar joint that's required is almost more than an inch. It's actually, uh, if I measure it right, it's about three centimeters or 30 mm. 30 mm is the masonry joint that is required for you to get a nine inch block. That's the spacing of masonry joint. We've kept the height standard just for comparison between all the blocks. But uh, to, to achieve a nine inch wall, you need 30 mm of uh, mortar. I'll also show you, uh, these are table mold bricks. And in this contraption here, we have uh, wire cut bricks. Even in the wire cut bricks, we've set it up uh, the same way. 35 centimeters or 350 mm and uh, 230. I'm sorry, this has to go much wider, but that's the best we could do because these bricks are not really geometrically square. So this is to get a 230 mm width, the space required, the masonry joint required is almost 30 mm. That's three centimeters to get this. And again, this way to get a 35 centimeter length. Again, the space uh, in between these blocks is about 25 mm or an inch. So just to show you overall a demonstration, the amount of masonry that's required in terms of uh, filling in the spaces is quite substantial, almost three times as much. So if this is 10 mm, we're looking at 25 mm and 30 mm. So that's the excess of cement, sand, labor, transport, masonry, uh, labor that's required to make a nine inch wall. We'll also try and check uh, the height. The height we've achieved with four courses is a 330 mm with uh, a 10 mm space. Now in these blocks, we also have 330 uh, mm, so there's no problem with the height. Similarly, with these blocks, we get about 320. So that's a 10 mm reduction in height. So overall, what we're trying to demonstrate to you is none of the bricks that you get in the market which are burnt, 
CACB is not burnt. These are cement stabilized and cured. These are burnt bricks. So the issue with burnt bricks is when you make them, they are nine inches. But country fired bricks, Y-cut bricks, table mold bricks have an issue of shrinkage. So when you make them, they are nine inches. Uh, when you dry them, it kind of reduces a little. And then when you bake them, it reduces much more. So what you're actually paying for per brick, you will need many more bricks to build the same wall compared to an Earthbrick wall. Uh, Sandeep, if you could come closer, I'd like to show you the actual sizes that you get. We're not really concerned about uh, the brand of the brick. I just want to show you the sizes. What's supposed to be 230mm or 9 inches is about 5mm uh, shorter. This way it is 4 inches, that's correct. And the height which needs to be 75mm is about 72 to 73mm. So overall there is a lot of uh, shrinkage issues. And as you can see, you cannot use these blocks for exposed masonry. Whereas the earth blocks can conveniently comfortably be used for exposed masonry. And the biggest advantage, the really biggest advantage that people buy CACB blocks or use earth blocks is for the thermal benefit that you would get. These bricks will at least give you four to five degrees of cooler interiors. So that's the biggest advantage one. Second bigger advantage is with the fit and finish and the geometry being so good, the walls look really, really beautiful. So you don't have to paint them, you don't have to plaster them, which gives you substantial saving in terms of construction cost and because of the thermal effectiveness that these bricks give you, you will also save uh, by not using air conditioning, you don't have to use fans as much and natural cooling is always much better than artificial cooling. I'd like to show you a quick demonstration on uh, the weight of the blocks. Now we have uh, four different kinds of blocks. Firstly, we have one which is a wire cut brick. So these are wire uh, extruded and wire cut. These come with three holes. The weight of these blocks is about uh, three kgs and 60 grams. And we have our earth blocks. Earth blocks brick will weigh about 3.66, that's 3 kgs and 6. These are uh, wire cut bricks. The weight is about uh, 3.27. And these are table molded country bricks fired. The weight of this is about 3 kgs. Now, amongst all these bricks, I'm sure earth blocks is the heaviest. Why? Because of the density that we've achieved. The density that we get is about 2000 kg per meter cube. It will be little more than 2000 kg per meter cube. But what I like to also talk to you about is a finished wall with earth blocks will give you a complete 9 inches. But with these blocks to get a 9 inch, you will have to do a lot of filling and you have to plaster both sides of the wall. So plastering both sides of the wall is going to add weight tremendously to the structure and to the overall weight of the building. So comparatively, even though the bricks are slightly higher brick to brick, but your overall structural weight is not going to increase by using earth blocks. And the added advantage we have with earth blocks is because of the conduits. You can do your electricals while you build your walls. So there is no question of cutting, chipping, plastering and extra waste that's going out of your building. So even there, it's very, very economical and sustainable to use earth blocks. And we have some really, really great introductory offers on these bricks. I'd like you to check the description below to see the latest prices that we're offering. Uh, I'd like to also show you the factory that we have. These are the blocks that are ready to be shipped. If you have any queries, please make sure you contact us with the numbers below. Or you can also check our website, earthblocks.in.